Welcome. In front of me is a Oppo A5M and today I'll be showing you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. So, first thing uh, is you will need to progress through the setup till you get to the connect to Wi-Fi page. And right now we're gonna sign into our Wi-Fi Hopefully I typed it in correctly. Nope, uh, never mind, I didn't. Let's try that again. All right, I just popped in a completely different password. There we go. So now that we're connected, uh, I do want to be before I progress any further, talk about this, you can see that uh, we are locked, we have this little lock and I can actually go forward just to kind of show you that the device is locked. Um, but that being said, we will, for the process, need a second phone. So I will be using this uh, POCO uh, for this, assuming it works, we'll see. Uh, some devices have sometimes problems as we will need to use the phone cloning application that this device uses. So some devices just have a problem with it. Some very cheap Androids uh, want to be able to use this application just because it requires the option to draw over other apps to be enabled and very cheap phones, we're talking about like the sub $100 price, tend to have this option like hardware just locked away from you. So you, you can't even enable it or find it. So those phones won't work and some even normal phones also have sometimes problems which i hope this one won't be one but for the most part most android devices should work so that's one thing uh, another one is we will need internet connection uh, which obviously like i said connect to network and from there we can just kind of go with the bypass so right here you can see it is locked it's also telling me to draw the pattern to unlock it and use the google account if i close this up I just kind of wanted to show you that the device is fully locked, no doubt there. So now to get started, we're going to back out. Uh, now if you're on the Wi-Fi page, you can still back out and back more, more, uh, more uh, to the very beginning almost where we have language selection. And here you want to select emergency call. And we're going to type in this code. So it's going to be star hash 899 and then hash the moment you press hash it will open up the test mode for the device. Now in here, uh, we will then want to select a manual test right here. There we go, manual test. And we want to select camera. And from camera, we will be selecting camera test. As you can see, this just opens up your normal camera so what you want to do now is just capture a photo. There we go, you can see it pops up right here. Next, we're just gonna open it up. Agree and continue. And from here, we want to select, uh, I believe, yep, it's share. There we go. And we're looking for Google which is on the second page. So Google uh, search image. And let's see, do we need to hold this or just tap on it? Select the, oh, so just select it. And in here, let's see, what do we get? Can we just open that up? I think we just swipe it up. This isn't looking exactly like the guide, but let's just see what we get it with. So I'm gonna just get rid of that. And in search, I'm gonna type in hard reset.info slash bypass. And look at that, it opens up our browser. So from here, we're gonna select uh, use without an account. Make sure you select the, the second option right here. Ooh, I just completely misclicked. There we go. And as you can see, we are now in different looking browser. Hopefully everything still works. Consent. Okay, um, they want to point this out. 
be prepared for this dog shit. I might work for this company, but boy, do I do I hate this trash. Uh, like this is just condemnable as hell. The amount of ads and trash here is unbelievable. So anyway, uh, if it opens up a new page, if it doesn't look like this with the name at the top, it means that it opened up a new page with an ad without you ever even clicking on anything. So just go back at that point. And anyway, from here we're gonna scroll down to settings, Let's click on that. And it will actually redirect you to the phone settings. In here, uh, we'll be selecting the home screen and lock screen, and then home screen layout. Now this glitches the phone and just brings us to the, as you can see, home screen. Now, before you go clicking off, we're not done yet. Oh, we're like barely halfway through. So what is happening right now is we just glitched the phone. It's still in a setup stage as it considers. You can see we still have a lock. <laughs> we're missing buttons right here. So what you want to do is swipe to the uh, left and in tools folder, you will find the clone phone application. Open it up and then select that this is a new device. And allow anything that it shows up with. Next, we're going to select other Android right here. And assuming you have other Android, I do want to point that out. Now, if you have anything like OnePlus, Realme or Oppo, you can select the first option. And I have never tested iPhones, so I don't know if you can use iPhone instead, even if it's listed below. Now, grabbing our other device, we want to open up our Play Store. And we're going to search for clone phone. Now, you can see we have couple one, we have the Oppo, we have the OnePlus, and well, that's about it. You can choose either one of them. Uh, if you only see one of them, which sometimes is the case, just select the one that you see, either OnePlus or Oppo. For this purpose, I will be obviously selecting Oppo. I can see it, it's showing up in the search. And next, we're gonna open it up, agree and continue. And then we're gonna click on scan the QR code, okay insufficient battery that's unfortunate let's grab a cable hopefully that will solve my problem let's try it again yep there we go now one thing weird in here is when you when you need to grant permissions it gives you this moronic kind of uh, pop-up so basically it first needs you to deauthorize camera application <laughs> so you can authorize it it's the stupidest shit i have seen i don't know why it works like that but it is what it is so anyway, just deauthorize it and then give it permission and then hover the phone over the QR code. Next, we're gonna again deauthorize something so we can authorize it, which begs the question why if it was already authorized. Anyway, moving on, click on settings uh, when it shows up with the settings option and here look for the clone phone app right here. Toggle whatever it is here and go back twice. Give it a second. It's creating a hotspot point between these two phones, so it's going to connect uh, these two devices together, assuming it finds them. Sometimes, which looks like this might be the case, it won't. I'm going to try that again because it is just searching for device. Should normally just connect to it without a problem. So I'm going to try it again. Let's close this up. Let's find the app and let's try it again. Connect. Oh, there we go. Now, if you can't connect for some reason, you had this blue text right here somewhere uh, when we were trying to connect. Uh, you can actually just use that. It will, it will create a hotspot point and then you can go on this phone to Wi-Fi settings and just connect to the hotspot that this phone creates, which will be showing you the info for it and the password for it. And you just sign into it like it's a normal Wi-Fi and then go back to the app. Anyway, uh, and here we're gonna basically deselect everything. All right, um, deselect, 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 deselect. Actually, we do want apps selected. Move next, uh, okay. settings, we need to grant it permission. Now this is uh, 
unfortunate as it just disconnected um so xiaomi is being just annoying crap right here with this little timers for uh, consent it's just absolute unacceptable bullshit um so let's try it again hopefully this time around we can get through this trash come on And I need to do this thing over again. Next, settings, toggle on. Please don't close on me. Okay, I'm gonna go find another phone that isn't working like a piece of shit. Okay, so I managed to find a different phone. Uh, this will be a Sony Xperia. Um, hopefully this one will work. I do need to again start over so again i need to give it oh my god come on 30 percent. these phones have like 5000 milliamps there's no reason for this to even be showing up okay let's try it again yay we get to deauthorize more crap let's go yep Cool settings, clone phone, turn on. And I go back, turn on. Of course, we need localization, uh, location services, even though location services are absolutely useless here. It's not like you need them. You're literally creating a hotspot. You don't need to know where that hotspot is to actually function, but whatever. And look at that. Something that Xiaomi can't do, which is not annoy me, uh, because they need to have pop-up for everything with that freaking timer. Yeah, here, now that we have gotten everything sorted, we can go to the next page and actually continue the process. So, like I was mentioning at the beginning of the video, there are some phones that just won't work. And unfortunately, I managed to grab the only one that, well, I think we have at the office right now that wouldn't work. Uh, so, yeah, um, as you see, if you have a Xiaomi phone or Poco, it's basically the same thing, you're shit out of luck, uh, by the looks of it. Um, anyway, now in here, once we have this visible, as you can see, apps are selected, which we did have it selected, uh, but now it's giving us the granular option to select individual apps. So first we're going to deselect all of them and click on the text. And then from the list, just select a single application that has the lowest amount of uh, space that it takes. So either a couple megabytes, like for instance, uh, raw right here, or even in kilobytes, but there's nothing in kilobytes. So that will be a good enough option. Then click on OK. So we have one app, like nine megs in size. We can go to the next page and again, deauthorize more stuff and uh, start migrating. Yep, start migrating. Now, the lower the size of the application, the faster the transfer will be. So, like I said, pick something that has the lowest amount of space. And we're basically done. So, that was the only reason why we needed this phone, actually. So, now we can just get rid of it. I'll also unplug it because I don't need to charge it anymore. Um, and here, let's see, did it fail? Migrating complete. So, let's call it, select the resume. Migration success, one item. I do want to point out one thing, just in case. Sometimes it might tell you that it failed uh, with one. If it succeeded or failed, it doesn't matter. It's the process of trying to move it that allows us to, to complete the bypass. So, like I said, it doesn't matter. We can click on done. And you can see we're now one page further. We're back in the setup screen, but uh, we're not at the verification page we are two pages after the verification so we can just select skip right here and uh, later and just keep it as it is right now doesn't really matter get started no oh, there we go whoops and once you have access to your home screen you will want to navigate into the settings right here and this is fine, whatever. So settings, and then scroll all the way down to system and update. And then select backup, reset. Reset phone, erase all data, clear. And click on the clear once more. 
I'm not gonna go over this on the video as this is just a normal reset of the phone. Once it's finished, you're going to be taken back to the setup page of or setup screen for your phone. But the only difference is at that point, the device will be fully unlocked. The what is basically happening and why we didn't do that before for people that are interested in the interworkings of this is uh, when we first opened up settings, um, when we glitched into it, the device was still in setup mode and the device knows that it's in setup mode. So when you go into the settings somehow, even though you're not supposed to be able to do that, uh, the phone isn't set up. So even if you do reset through there, it considers itself as though you were resetting it when it's locked because it virtually is still locked on the setup. Uh, so it will just go back to being again locked just you get to start over the setup and the verification uh, But once the phone is fully set up, which we have just done uh, by doing the migration uh, The device is kind of looking at it. Oh cool. The device is set up. So you have access to the home screen There is no protection of any source that I can see at least for the home uh, for lock screen uh, you want to do a reset, that's fine, there's no Google account, uh, at least signed in right now. There is no screen lock, so yeah, you can go through the re reset. And once it, the phone goes through the reset through settings like this, it automatically unlocks itself fully. So that's basically the simple kind of version of what happens. And that's one of the reasons why you want to go through this reset uh, right now, even though you're already on the home screen. The device is still right now, before the reset uh, I'm showing you is still technically locked and if I were to reset it not through settings but through recovery mode instead it would actually go back to being locked so make sure you do it through settings to fully unlock it and from there you can just do whatever you want anyway uh, that, that's basically everything so if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching